Hello and welcome to another live stream on LEGO Legacy Heroes Unboxed. How's everyone doing today? All you builders and explorers of Pip Town, hopefully you guys are having a great day. Let's have a look at the chat, see who's here, greet them, welcome them, make them feel extra special for being here for this live stream. So we got Scar, welcome to the stream my dude, Black Ninja, good to see you here, Sadiq, Samuel, all of you, how you're all feeling today. So in today's live stream, we have some arena fights to do. We got to finish off Brick Expedition map. We will also be showing you my space team and set. And just like someone mentioned in the chat, we are a day and a number of hours away. I think it's Black Ninja who mentioned it. Right, let's go straight to the action, guys. Holiday break event. Let's kick things off with an arena fight. Target red bit. Oh, red bit. Why did you have to dodge that? Oh, red bit thinks he's a ninja today. Big trouble here, guys. We might be picking an L here. Redbit thinks he's a ninja. Yeah, we're in big trouble here. for science here the opposing red beard starts going ninja on us we got no chance no chance whatsoever So what are you guys saying in the chat? Let's have a look. So Black Ninja says his space team is ready for Ghost. Awesome. I hope I can get Locus's ultimate. Scar saying my techie team is all ready for the techie all star. Awesome. Scar says just geared up clockwork. Ooh. Jen's event will happen if Jay comes back. Black Ninja says he wants Jay. All the Master Store Heroes will have an all-star event. Looks like it with uh, Jen's. Hopefully will be in the uh, techie. I'm close to getting Storm and on such. 48 out of 65. Scar, I want a 7-star Jay free to play. <laughs> I'm like 200 tiles off. Samuel says he's getting Garmadon today. Congrats, my dude. Black Ninja says he has him already. Oh, Scar's got a five-star Garmadon. Oh, he's ahead of me. 
Black Ninja says he's only got a two star. Yeah, we got plenty of gifts in the corner there on the right to keep you entertained, Scar. Uh, what else have we got here? Black Ninja says, I got him when we got Ninjago's 10th anniversary message. And Black Ninja says, I also just passed Pip Town 4.2. Congrats, my dudes. The more you can get through the story mode, the more gear you can get. And Samuel says, I'm a pretty new player. I have a good pirate team, but I'm struggling getting gear from Pip Town. Any tips? Any tips? Well, um, I'll give you some tips, my dude. Uh, Castle is the only way to, to get through Pip Town. Yeah, go with Scar's tip. So the uh, DRC, what's your space lineup for Ghost event like? Well, let's do that right now then. Oh, actually, hold on. Let me just open up a bag. Because every uh, four hours, I believe, is it every four hours? Let's see who we're gonna get. Can we get who do we want? Locusts. Locusts would be a good one, guys. Oh, it's high cup. Yeah, every four hours. So, looking at the sets. Right, this is how we're looking right now, guys, in terms of sets. Now, I have seen that it is possible to get Ghost Unlocked with a 5-star Spy Track. So this one here at the bottom. You can get Ghost at 5-star. I don't know about a 6-star, but what I recommend is the Galaxy Explorer. This is the one that I recommend, guys, and that I'll be going for. So, as you can see, I have it at five stars, ready to go. And out of all these passives, the middle one is the key one. This one here. Whenever space here, deals damage to a target foe, there is a 40% chance to clear all buffs from that foe. For each buff clear, the target foe's pep is increased by 2% and the hero's pep is increased by 2%. Now, if I need to, I will max it out to 5 because um, reducing pep on the opposing team and you gaining pep, basically pep is speed. So when you have that ability to swap speeds between your opponents, that is a massive benefit. This one here is pretty good as well. At the start of the battle, explorers, heroes increase their speed by 1% per active classic space hero and have a 10% chance to gain dodgy. Any dodgy that you can get on your side, as you probably saw in that arena fight with Redbeard going uh, ninja dodgy on me, it goes up by 10% here. You can see if I take it to level 3, which I'll probably do now actually. Let me just take this to 3. Yeah, so not only have I increased the speed once again, I've also gained a 20% chance of dodging. Can I take it further actually? Oh no. What I'll do is I'll leave that there. And I need 3 more of these. Just in case I need it. Also, let me just show you the, the, the figurines. Right, that's my space team as we stand right now. Let's have a look at the chat here so I don't miss anything. Uh, Black Ninja says, He's just missing Kartosi and Gowo. Yes, you're right. And I'm missing Jens. Sadiq, damn, my space explorer is too far off. Galaxy. Uh, Samuel says, should I spend my guild currency on Kelvin or Storm? Hmm. 
Black Ninja says Kelvin. So what castle character should I go for? Well, let's just focus on... Um... Oh, I see what you mean now. Um... So hold on, let me look at that question again. Uh... So what... Okay, so the question basically is whether or not you want to go for Kelvin or Storm. Okay, so you're looking at the guilds, the guild store. Okay, well. This is how I look at it, guys. I agree with Scar that Kelvin has two easy nodes from the uh, from the campaign. So here, the camp. This this um. Monolith Waste is a very good story campaign to farm space units. So this is what I mean and what Scar means. So you've got Kelvin here. You can farm right off the bat chapter one and Spaceman Reads. There's another Kelvin very early on and Spaceman uh, Dwayne. That's not Jens, by the way, that's Dwayne. And number three, you've got Locust here as well. Spaceman Reed again. The Spy Trap, which you can farm and unlock Ghost with, but I don't recommend it. So let's go back to the space team just one more time. So to answer that question is... I would say go for Storm and take her to five stars would be my advice. That would be my advice. Well, what else are you guys saying in the chat? Sadeep says, my figurines are a bit more geared up, but Dwayne only at five stars, hoping to get cold and Kelvin to five, uh, seven stars and read to six. So farming like crazy. Also cold for me is almost six stars. Scar says, Castle is easier and faster. Black Ninja, don't. Just don't use Naya unless you have a gear 4 or higher, Kai. Scar says, no, you don't use Naya at all. <laughs> Relic. Oh, boy. Yes, Black Ninja. Black Tron Dwayne. No, I don't think you will, Samuel, to be honest. You might have to um, wait for it for the next time to come round. Yeah, we'll talk about that, Sadib, as well. This guy says, then he went for Spooky Girl to six star because I had so much hoarded currency. And Black Ninja says, if you don't have a Wu and J, just use Kai, Zayn, Lloyd, Garmadon, and Great White. Yeah, Black Ninja, I'm in the UK, we pronounce things slightly different, so I pronounce it Naya, not Nia. You're in the US, right? 
It's like tomato, tomato, potato, potato. It's the same thing, my dudes. You know what I mean? Uh, sorry, code is at six stars already. Meant seven stars. Gear seven. Samuel said doesn't have a Kai. Should I throw Garmadon in a castle team? Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Right, guys. So look, at the moment, as I stand, we got six star gear six Kelvin. There she is, level 60. All abilities, passives, maxed out. Uh, Locusts, gear 6, level 60. All abilities maxed out. There's Commander Cole, 6 star gear 6. There's his abilities. This one is the key one for me. Grand Saw Heroes, defense up 2 for 3 turns. Next one is Reed. Gear 6, 6 star level 60. This one here is the key one here, the stun and the extra damage. Dwayne, because I don't have a 5 star Quincy or any other minifigure, so I've taken him to 6 star gear 6. Level 55, I will take him to 60. Um, and also, Kelvin, I will have enough gold to take to seven stars as well i've done all of this this is why um samuel to samuel yeah this is why you need to upgrade your pirates because of the gold yeah you see my pirates here they're all seven stars one two three four five So all I need to do here is I will loot this three times and it will give me three, six, nine, nine, one million, just over one million in gold. So you can see I've got 410,000 that will jump up to 1.4. Just 1.5 maybe. There we are, look, 1.4 Samuel. So same thing tomorrow, this will come back tomorrow, because it's for two days, and that will give me another 1.1, 1 .1, so it should give me 2.5. So with that money, what I'll do is I will take, I'll take Dwayne to 60. Kelvin I could take to seven star tomorrow. 1.5 million I believe. Sky it's 1.5 isn't it to max to seven? Yeah, Hank is a very slow farm. I agree. I'll go Darwin. Darwin's good at dodging. Right. Time to go arena again, guys. Well, let's beat this team here. I want, to, I want to face that team again. Go so round two, guys. Yeah, you're right, Scott. I will save the gold to take Dwayne to 60 and Kelvin to 7. Absolutely, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, we're going to do basics on Redbeard. We'll send Lucy. Not Lucy, this one here. Let's. It doesn't dodge this time. Then we send Lucy. Then we have to go after Scarlet because she taunts. 
We have Wu to remove the taunts. Okay, we're in trouble here. That was a nice crit there. Right, down goes Red Beard. Now in with a chance now, guys. Oh, she took a nice crit as well. But she's still alive, Argenta. Please don't go for Red Beards. guy with the ultimate 4v2 we should have this now guys let's heal up everyone we got this now 4v2 we had to work around to drink here uh, and we get the job done guys round two to DRC thank you so much Hey Daft, welcome to the stream my dude, how you doing? If you have any questions regarding the ghost event coming up, we're here to answer them. We got the very experienced bunch in the chat. Yes, Samuel. Hank does hit very hard. I agree. Yeah, I agree with Scott. If you have a full Buccaneers team, i.e. Sc um, Hank, Scarlet, Redbeard, Cookbart, and Argenta, Hank is very good. Because the longer he stays in a fight, the more damage he does. No, the pirates are no longer the um, the meta in my one, neither scar. The meta in my one is the oh wow. In my top ten, six or seven of them is the um, dojo set with the Wu ninjas. So you can see second, third, fourth, and six are dominated and ten are dominated by the ninjas so that's one two three four five yeah about half of them are the ninjas you really have to have a like mine a Wu pirates or a um, four buccaneers with everything maxed out to stand a chance to stay in the top ten but coming up 
very, very strong at the moment is the Magistos Tower. We have one Magistos Tower that's come out of nowhere because he has a ghost and woo. So he's ahead of the game right now. He has a six star Magista, which I don't have yet. He's got a six star Wu, which I do as well, and also a six star Ghosts. So this, um, this player here has a very good team. And that looks like a Garmadon there, which I can't see if it's a five star one. But yeah, he's got a five star Magistos Tower. Interesting stuff. Let's go. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, you know it. Right, we've got one more left in terms of arena. We'll do a celebration when we hit actually hit one million awesomeness. We're not quite there yet. Almost. Farming specific nodes here, guys. <laughs> right, we didn't get those fancy helmets, which is what I was looking for. some of this blue juice here we do get some blue juice Farm this Zane nodes. Actually, Scott, let me ask you. You know, in the techie event, who do you think we're going to be able to farm? You know, in this event here, we can farm for Yeti. Commander Colt, Aurora, and uh, Zane. And then we'll have the um, Kartoski tiles here, for example. I reckon we'll get gens here. And we could well get... We'll have Zane again, but maybe at the very start. We'll have Clockwork. We have Diggy J, and this last node, I reckon, could be Kartowski. Yeah, I agree with you 100%, Scar. About the store as well because they are techy. Let's do some brick expedition and not upset Black Ninja. <laughs> well, I've done three nodes already, so we're gonna go up or down. Let's have a look. We'll go down, guys. I don't like the look of that. Uh... That woo.
All right, Scott, my dude, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you helping out answering questions because we do get new players. So that's what we want. We want to encourage people to play the game. Thank you so much. Just about survive there, guys, with his dodge. See you, Haikon. Oh, he survived. That fuels it. We both have four star corps. Yeah, we do, my dude. I was wondering who the person was that got a uh, four star corps. No, don't worry about it. So Sadeep says I really need to farm Egon, Jay and Kartoski. Yeah, Kartoski is going to be a tough one, but I'm hoping with this new All-Star event that we might have a chance to get more Kartoski tiles. And we're definitely going to get Jay tiles for sure. should be a very good member of the Magisto Tower team, Sadeep. I agree with you. Yeah, Garmadon is a hard uh, farmer, dude. You're right. <laughs> Black Ninja, I have JCD, Clockwork, Robot, Zane, Egon, Kartoski. Oh, good, my dude. You're looking good. You still need J. Yeah, me too. I need J. I don't even have Jay unlocked. I was so focusing on trying to get um, Master Wheel the first time around, which I didn't get, by the way. I was really disappointed because I put everything into the pirates. But because when I first started playing the game, Scarlet wasn't farmable in the store, so I was going after. Valiant in the store. And because it was too late for me to stop doing the farm in the store for Valiant, I just kept going. But anyone who plays the game now, who started recently, go after Scarlet in the store. 100% the first one. And not Valiant or Lloyd. That's the arena store, guys, just if you're wondering. Darth, that's about me. I'm, I'm roughly about that as well. 87. Of J tiles. Right, let's go up, middle, or bottom. Let's go right in the middle here.
I don't know if you guys have seen my um, community page on my YouTube channel. I paste uh, a post there regarding the news that I have regarding uh, what's coming very soon. We can also talk a bit about that as well. Hey Nick, how you doing my dude? Great to see you here. Also guys, if you are new to the channel, I appreciate it if you could smash that subscribe button, leave a like, share this with your friends, guild, anyone who likes Lego, I would so much appreciate that guys. What's that, Nick? You're doing, um, you're doing good. That's great, my dude. <laughs> Down goes Heiko. We'll pick up that W and that trophy in Brick Expedition. That arena fight. Let's get into the top 10. Take down this rank number 19. Posing red fits almost down. Uh, he's gonna get healed up, isn't he? Bid rips apart Argenta. Cookbot's gonna get the ultimate. Monkey's gonna take him out. Come on, let's get that crit. Oh wow, he got hit with a crit and he's still standing. What he's singing right now. Oh, down goes Scarlet. I didn't even touch her. Oh, Valiant's in trouble. He's seeing stars. We got this guy's in the top 10. That's how you do it live on the stream. <laughs> Just show you quickly how my space team is looking. So at the moment, my space team is at 152k.
Now you can unlock Ghost with a space team of 136k and you can beat the 6th node at 184k so for example my team would need another 32k to beat the 6th node at the moment I won't be able to beat it but for me personally I'm going to get a 6 star ghost why? how? you might be asking yourselves well let me show you I managed to pick up over a hundred tiles look at my ghosts 158 out of 190 so if I complete nodes 3, 4 and 5 I will have enough tiles to get into 6 stars from the first spooky all stars I was farming the ghost node and buying him from the store, I think he was in the store as well that last node and in the store I went all in I knew that I wouldn't be able to beat this node 6 so I went down this route here and it's going to pay off for me guys I allow enough gold to take um, du uh, Blacktron Dwayne to level 60 and also a 7 star Kelvin well, let's keep going with the action and do this Brickspedition. As you can see guys, they're getting harder. Level 60, gear 7 opponents. We're going to see some Slimer action. How do you get Slimer when the Ghostbusters event comes back round? That's how you get him. He's, um, he's a master event lock, un unlock. So similar to uh, Ghost, Primo, and Master Wu, they are Master then Unlocks. You need to get a certain amount of sets and uh, minifigures at five stars. So in the case of Slimer, you need to get the Ghost Plus is at 5 stars and the Ecto-1 which is the set at 5 stars Yeah Black Ninja do you have the Ecto-1 at 5 stars? Don't forget the Ecto-1, the set No, you won't be able to do it then, my dude. You, only, you, you won't be able to do note 3 or 4. Well, at the moment you won't. But when it comes back round, I would suggest you farm from the store, Ecto. You know when the currency for the Ghostbusters? Then, they, then you'd be well on your way. To getting him I reckon you'll get him before I do anyway oh we get some primo action here 
and the opposing team. Now I've picked Lloyd here guys because my Valiant is in trouble. I didn't realise that he was in trouble. So if you pick Lloyd, he puts the stealth up and protects the team right off the bat. Yuppie. Oh wow, Primo got hit with a basic red beard at crit. Oh, down goes poor old Primo. One, two, three, Primo's trash! <laughs> Well, let's remove this taunt and go after Yuffie again. Yuffie's dodging. Dodge this then. Oh wow, back to back dodges from Yuffie. Oh, Primo's come back to haunt us. Down he goes. Right, let's disarm. Oh, nice. Wow, Red Beard's hitting the crits today, guys. Loving it. what he needs Samuel um, Primo he needs his own team like a police team <laughs> a black ninja Yoppy sounds like a baby over <laughs> Oh, you guys. Right, do we go up or down? Oh, I don't like Lloyd's. Let's go up here, guys. Let's see some ghost action. Man, guys, I'm hyped for getting a six-star ghost. I really am. Because I'm going to be making a very strong arena team with, with that Magistos Tower. I'm going to go with that team. That guy is actually number one in my arena. That's the team I'm going to go for. I was thinking of going with um, like beat up bricks and go with a ninja team but the problem with that is because I went all in with the, with the pirates it's taking me so long to get my ninjas to seven stars plus Garmadon you can't Because you're basically starting from you know, scratch. Because Lloyd, you need to get from the arena store. But the moment's only at five stars. Uh, Zane, because of the events, has made it easier for me. But he was uh, he was uh, was only a store farm as well. He 
you know, Kai, for some reason, he's, he's dropped on very good, even though he has two nodes. Master Wu, you can only take him to six stars. thinking guys my next arena team is going to be um, another thing that i've just forgotten is the set the set for the ninjas the dojo uh, showdown it's just taking ages even to get a three star set because it's based on the expedition currency Let's heal up everyone. So we go into the last fight with all my minifigures healed up. Let's go with the ultimate from Ghost. Oh, I can't wait to get this guy, guys. Look at them multiplying. So that my new arena team is going to be the Magisto Tower set, Wu, Magisto, Ghost, Garmadon and Lloyd. That's going to be my arena team. We'll put on Slimer one more time. We got the Imperials here. Wave one. Let's go after non such. It's back in time to one. Just to let you guys know, I will be back tomorrow, same time. Hopefully guys, you can join me for another live stream. damage being hit on the Imperials here. The Quay is a last man standing. Look at him. Down he goes. Onto the Pirates. The full Buccaneer Pirates. Slimer. How much damage does he do? Ooh, one crit. Redbeard could be taken out with one crit. Redbit still survives. Let's do some healing up on Valiant. So Black Ninja, do you reckon you'll be able to get ghosts?
Oh, that's good, guys. Samuel and Black Ninja, if you can join me tomorrow. That's cool. Game can give me those Garmadon tiles. <laughs> and Samuel says, Imagine if Lequay could assist with other Imperial attacks. Black Ninja says, Nah, my uh, space team ain't maxed out. I can only do the first three missions. Okay, my dudes. So we get the trophy. Look at those goodies. 23 tiles away from a Garmadon at 5 stars. So I'm about 3 weeks away from getting a 5 star Garmadon. Okay, Sammy, you did read my community post. Yeah, there's some interesting things on there, my dudes. Welcome to the stream, Mazamil Ali. How you doing? No, you're not late. Still here, my dudes. So, Mazamil, let me just quickly show you my space team. So, so basically, the ghost hunting event is one day and fifteen hours away. So, I've already done the first two nodes. The first time round, what I'll do when this unlocks or starts, I'll be able to do the third, the fourth, and the fifth nodes, and that will get me a six star ghost without needing to do the six nodes to get a six star ghost. So basically. This is how my space team is looking. 152k. This should be able to beat the fifth note. 
no problem. So guys, this was the um, the notes that I put in my community posts. So basically Maria, which is the game log community manager says, hello, the brick notes should be posted at the end of this month. So they're working on the events calendar for February. So we're gonna get an events calendar and there is something planned special for the Valentine's Day but I'm not sure about the event itself and also they're still working on something special for the game's anniversary as well So that's the information on the left hand side and the information on the right it says Yeti event ends on the 31st of January which we know about but the techie event will start on the 6th of February guys so there's actually kind of like a, a number of days like a week there's a week gap guys And there will be something new added to the new updates. So we got a Valentine's event to look forward to. The begin well kind of mid-February. And there will be something new in the new updates. Oh it looks like we got a donation. Oh, thank you so much, uh Mazamo Ali, for the donation. That any donations guys um, goes straight back into the game so I'll make sure that uh, you get a shout out for that Mazamu thank you so much my dude appreciate it is there any question that you want to ask Mazamu about the game anything whatsoever because we are coming towards the end of the stream but if you've got a couple of questions on oh, Mozamo, another thing is I'm going to be streaming the same time tomorrow as well so Is there any way a friend to friend anyone in this game? Um, there is actually kind of a way. I'll just show you what I mean by that. Let me just see. You see what I'm saying to you guys about the currency? I need 900 of these relics from this dojo, a dojo showdown. I'm not supporting, not supporting, I'm not spending any master currency yet. Now there's a reason for that guys. I want to know if this new Techie All-Stars, if we're gonna get the chance to farm Major Kartofsky.
So Mozamil, basically this game here, you can play on Android or on iOS. But if you've got blue stacks on your computer, like I do right now, I'm playing the game on my PC. So you can play this game um, on the computer or laptop. And regarding being friends, there's this uh, guild here, which is basically you can have up to 50 friends. So I've got like two two of my friends here, which is, uh, well, Nick is no longer here anymore, but this guy here, Manic Ninjago Champion, this is uh, a friend of mine called Beat Up Bricks. So basically, if you do want to join this, this guild, we can try and get you in. That's the only way that we can actually see our friends. Yes, yeah, so if you've got an Android phone, in the description, Muzamil, I've got the link. So on the description of my um, of my live stream right now, you can download the link from that link for the Android. Once you've done done that, you can then make sure that you, if you've got Facebook, or you can use um, any of these at the top. You connect your account from Android to BlueStacks and then you'll have the game on your PC or laptop. Yeah, my username is this one here at the top. Top left hand corner says Top Pirate Architects. That's my name in the game. You've got all these names that you, you have to select one of these from the in game. The icon you can only pick the icons of the characters you have unlocked like for example the next couple of days if I unlock ghost I'll be able to use the ghost icon I still can't believe I don't have yuppie the thing is with Yoppy, he's like an end game farm. It's going to take ages to get uh, Yoppy. I'm trying to get my name back because I like that name. Oh, you're right. Thanks for that, Black Ninja. Stop shuffling. I was I was so distracted talking to um, Muzamu that uh, I just kept pressing the button. Right. Anyway, what's that last question there? How do you get Yuppie? Let me quickly show you. So, Samu, because I've completed all the campaign, like there's six chapters. You can see some of the end game chapters. Wow, 
but I've, I've done that one. So you can see there, uh, Samuel, chapter 6, there's one node there, 6.h4. And also five, chapter 5, 5.h4. 5 there's two nodes there. The reason I say they're hard nodes is because they require quite a lot of energy. Look, I've got 10 out of 65, requires 18 energy and 20. All right, guys, I'm also going to end the stream right here. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this live stream. You've all been awesome. I'll be back same time tomorrow. So guys, I appreciate every single like that you leave on my live streaming videos. It means so much as well. Also, I'd like to thank you, Muzamil Ali, for your donation. It helps keep us going and keep bringing you the best information I can possibly can. Shout out to Samuel, Scar, Black Ninja, all of you guys in the chat who've joined me in this live stream. I'll see you same time tomorrow. Massive fist bump of Baron also at the very end. Take care guys and bye for now.